Cutting out hair in Photoshop can be a nightmare to absolute beginners. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can cut out hair in Photoshop. In my previous video, we learned how to use the pen tool to make selections in Photoshop. But now, in this case, you cannot use the pen tool to make a perfect selection around hair. That is absolutely impossible so i'm going to be showing you an effective way of doing that so all you need to do is select on the layer once that layer is selected come up to the select menu up here you click there and you take subject once subject is selected photoshop will do some calculations and make a selection around your image now you as you can see let me zoom in as you can see it has made a pretty good selection but Part of the hair is out, it's not selected, and you see the transparent areas around the hair, it could not do a good selection around there. So these little hair strands around here are not also included. So we want to refine it in a way that all the details of the hair will also be included in our selection. So what you are going to do at this point is to create a mask. Once you select on the subject, the selection has been done, you now create a mask by clicking on this button and the mask is created. You now see that if you if you had to use this on your design, it doesn't really make much sense because the, it's just looking like some lumps. So you need to really refine the edges so that those little strands of hair can also be part of the selection. So what we are going to do next is to go to the properties of your mask. Now my properties panel is not yet activated here. So what I'm going to do is I'll activate it under the windows panel and I go to properties. Once that is activated, I just need to click on select and mask. Once that is done, I am now brought into another window where I can do more adjustments. So the first thing I always like to do is to choose the background i want to use here because actually when the selection is done your background becomes transparent so this these settings here help you to be able to see to see how good your selection actually is so i'm just going to work with the on black uh, setting and then i come here now these are the tools you are going to be using the first tool here is the quick selection tool this is a tool that you use to add a part of the image that was not selected or subtract a part that was added which was not supposed to be added you remember that at the top here there was a part of the hair that was not added to the selection so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the add button to try to locate that part of the hair that was not added during the selection so I'm just going to click up here if I don't get that exact point, I just click on undo. I think that part was somewhere around here. Okay. Okay. Can increase my selection like that. Then I think around this part too, there was still something. Okay. I can undo this one like this. I click exactly on the spot where it is. Then I can now use the subtract. And I'll reduce the parts that I don't want in my selection. So I just need to click here, 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 and here. So once that is done, the next thing to do is to use the Refine Edge tool. The Refine Edge tool helps to bring some details on the edges. It softens the edges so that you don't really have a sharp transition from the the selection to the the area that was taken out of the selection so you also have to bring in the little strands of hair around the edges of your selection so i just need to come and i click around the edges as i click and i brush you see it's doing some modifications making them more transparent so the transparent part of the hair always carries the color of the background so this this refined edge tool helps to make the hair more transparent so that when you want to use it on your design it will assume the color of the background so I just need to click there when you click you allow Photoshop to do some processing 
So I just draw here so draw here. See that the edges are looking smoother than before. And also you don't want to overdo it. You just want to do subtle changes, subtle, subtle adjustments. We are almost done. So I think I can even erase this part. Subtract. You can erase this part. Okay. And now I test my selection. Finally, I always come to the black and white mode here. When I put there, I can look at the edges and see if they are really soft enough or they are the way I want. But I think this part is too transparent. I can I can just delete this part. Any part that is too soft, I always delete. So I think we have done a pretty good job. I go back to the previous setting on overlay. You now see how transparent it is. Or I go to marching. Then I take OK. Once I've selected OK, you now have your hair selected and it's transparent something you cannot achieve with the pen tool you now bring up a background if you want to use a background for this you now see that it blends well with the background it blends well with the background that's it for this tutorial if this was helpful to you please click on the like button share this video subscribe to my channel so that you can get updated when I release my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.